Okay, guys, let's talk about the Dell laptop not starting. You see here the Dell logo and sometimes a message here on the screen, but the computer is not starting. Okay, it depends on the computer that you have there. The message also can be different, but the idea here is that you need to do something to make it work, to make it start. You see here in this case that says no boot device found, press any key to reboot the machine. When I press a key here, it doesn't work for some reason, right? Even if it says uh, here to press any key, it, it doesn't work. So what I have to do here is just turn it off. There we go, I press the button here to turn it off. I just hold the button until it turns off. And then I turn back on, I just press here, turn back on, and I keep pressing here the F12 uh, key, right? I see the logo and is the computer is going to get into this menu. I, okay, here's the boot menu. I have different options. Okay, I can try different ones here. I'm gonna show you during the video different options that you can try to fix it. But the first one that I'm gonna try here is to change the boot mode settings. Uh, this could be different on your computer, right? Because here I'm using a Dell Latitude 7490. Perhaps you're using an, another Dell there, could be different, but you just need to look for change the boot uh, settings or change the boot uh, sequence or something like this, right? So just enter here and I'm going to change from this mode, which is legacy external device because I don't have an external device to boot from right now, okay? So I'm going to change to this one, UEFI boot mode, secured boot off. I just hit enter here and then I confirm that I want to use this one and I apply the changes. And now I'm gonna wait for it to see if it boots correctly, okay? That's one way to go. We're gonna check more ways. I'm just waiting here to see if it boots up correctly. You see here the Dell logo and I wait for a while. I should see something spinning here and loading Windows. There we go, it's going to load Windows now. Looks like it's working, okay? But if it's not working for you yet, we can try more stuff here, okay? So don't worry, you're gonna try a lot of different things here. You see my Windows is up now, but I'm gonna just restart and try different options, right? Let me just uh, have the option here to restart. There we go. Restarting, restart anyway. And now I'm gonna try something different, okay? I can also use the F2 uh, key to enter in the BIOS uh, setup. And from there, there are different things that you can try. Uh, usually there's an option there that solves the problem. Let me just keep pushing here F2 to get into the BIOS. So it's super simple. You see here that get into the BIOS, just wait for a while. And here you're gonna check uh, first the boot sequence. So I come here in settings, general boot sequence. Again, if the menu is different for you, just look for boot sequence. In here, you need to make sure that you're using Windows Boot Manager. That's the one to go. And also UEFI, okay? As long as you have this option, it's good to go. And then here on system configuration, I'm gonna find some extra options like the SATA operation, okay? And here I check that I'm using AHCI. Okay, I have RAID on. Usually when you change from RAID to AHCI, it boots up correctly, okay? I've, I've seen a lot of people with this problem. When they change here, it works perfectly. Just look for this option here on your computer. It could be different from mine, right? But usually it's this option that works, okay? And then I just exit here and I save. When I try to exit and do some changes, it saves, right? The configuration there. And Something else that I can try. Let me just uh, start pressing F the F2 key again here. One more time. Wait for it to load the BIOS. There we go, okay? And here, see the option to restore settings. I can check this one as well. You see here that I can load the, the BIOS uh, default, or I can do factory settings, less no good settings or cool custom user settings. You can try those different options. You can start with the BIOS uh, uh, default first, factory settings later if it doesn't work, or you can use the less no 
good settings. Usually BIOS default works pretty fine. So just try this one, okay, to see if it works. And if it doesn't, let's try one more thing. In this case, I'm not gonna load the BIOS default because mine is working fine. Let me just exit here again. One more time, F12. Okay, you see that we keep trying on F2 and F12. Some of this is going to solve the problem. If you have like some hardware problem here on, on the menu with F12, you can solve this. You see here that I can't run the diagnostics. There we go. I just hit enter here and wait for it to load and run the diagnostic. You see here that's testing the display. There we go. And it is going to beep. You're gonna uh, confirm here that the color is displayed correctly. It's testing the webcam, network, video card, and the uh, processor fan, the processor. And usually the memory could be the problem, okay? Or the SSD drive as well. So let it run and test everything. And it also is going to fix something if it's wrong, okay? So just let it run. Okay, you see here that everything is working, okay? And you can also test the memory as an extra test. I'm not gonna test this right now because for me it's working pretty fine, but I recommend you to test even this extra step, right? So just hit yes in your case there. And you're good to go. All tests passed, you're good to go here. In this case, uh, the, the system can fix some problems and you can boot up your computer most of the time, okay? So now I'm gonna restart one more time. Just exit here. Still not working for you. There's something else that you can test, okay? I go, I'm going to reboot on the laptop right now. One more time, pressing F12. Because now you can try something different that's the BIOS update. That also can fix the problems. Perhaps the BIOS is damaged and then you can test here, you can update, right? See here that you have this BIOS flash update. So you can just get in here and look when this menu uh, loads here, you need to insert here a uh, thumb drive. And from here you can find the files to update. You see here that you have file system 0, 0, 1, I mean FS1, right, and FS2, file system 2, but there is no option to load the drive here, the, the files to upload, right? So you're gonna need a thumb drive like this one. I have here the file that I can update uh, here the, uh, the BIOS, okay? So you need to load this file here. When I put it here, C for example, and then I can just come back here one more time and you see that I have an, an extra option here, FS3. And here you see that I have the Dell Latitude firmware, okay? I got this firmware from Dell, Dell website, from the internet. I can show you how to get there, right? But usually you just need to put this one, hit OK. And it's going to update your BIOS, okay? So here you begin the flash update. Confirm to that you want to proceed. And that will take several minutes. You can't turn off the laptop right now. Otherwise, you're gonna damage the BIOS, right? So make sure that you have the cable connected here to power the device. Just be patient because sometimes you're gonna see a black screen and sometimes you're gonna see some information here on the screen. Right now you see, for example, that's updating the hardware and there's the message, do not power down your system. And you see uh, the information here, updating, sending internal management engine and firmware update and stuff like this. When it's already up to date, it's gonna inform here as well. And there are uh, different processes, right? It's going to flash and later it's going to update something and then something else. Just keep waiting here. You see now it's updating something else. It's usually pretty fast. You see the progress bar here runs very fast. And remember that you need here this 
thumb drive with the FAT32 file system. So you can insert the file here, the file for the BIOS update, but you need this FAT, uh, FAT32 file system, right? When you format your thumb drive, just make sure that you do that. I can show you later here on, on Windows uh, how to get to the website to look for this file, right? Then you can come back and update. There we go, almost there. Sorry guys, it's a long video, but I'm trying to show you everything here that you can do to, to boot up your computer. There we go. Usually when it gets to 99%, it stays that way for a while. So just be patient. That could take like 30 seconds to two minutes. That's normal, right? Mine here is like 30 to 40 seconds, right? And says that uh, update was successful. But still, when you see here like 100%, still wait because it's doing something else, okay? You just need to follow the instructions here on the screen don't turn off your computer. Now you see that's already up to date. It's updating something else. You see EC firmware and it keeps doing that. Just be patient, never turn, turn it off. Even if it gets stuck here to 100%, just wait even for a long time to make sure you're not damaging your BIOS. There we go, this one was pretty fast. Firmware update successful. I think that's the last one. Yeah, he's checking something else and it says that it's already up to date. And now you got this green message, the firmware's update, and it boots up automatically by itself. Okay, so super good. Now it's booting up. Let's just go to the Windows now and then I can show you on the website where you can find this firmware, okay? There we go, I'm going to log in here on Windows. Of course, my Windows is working here. If yours probably is not, then you can use a different computer to go to the Dell's website. So you can use any browser and look for Dell drivers and update. Dell drivers and download also works, right? So here drivers and download. And here you need to identify the product. If you're using the computer, it's going to identify by itself right here. There's a tool that allows to do that. Or you can just type here the Dell Latitude 7490. That's the model that I have here, right? Of course, you're using a different computer. You need to do this stuff, right? And here, you're gonna look for the BIOS. You come here to find specific drivers, select drivers, and here just type BIOS, okay? Wait for it to load, and you see here, Dell Latitude 7490 System BIOS. That's the one that I want. Okay, here's the date. Then I just select here, download selected, and it's downloaded to my computer. And there we go. That's the one that I need. Okay, it's a .exe file, but it works pretty well. And here I have my pen drive. I just need to copy to my pen drive. I already have it here, but if you don't, you just need to format your pen drive here with this FAT32 file system, okay? Just be, make sure that you format the way. You can do a quick format here. Let me just do this, wait for it to format. That'll be pretty fast. And then I can copy the file there and later I can use here uh, to update the, the BIOS, right? Let me just come back here, here on download. I have it here, and then I can copy here to the thumb drive. There we go. And I'm good to go, okay? And then I can do the process that I just show you there. Just uh, use, reboot the computer, use the F12, go to the menu and select the BIOS update, right? And something else that you can do if it's not working at all, right? And sometimes you have a problem with the uh, Windows is not working. And then you need to create an uh, image here. Let me just uh, show you that you can use this, uh, how to create, sorry, back here, how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB. 
Okay. And here you go to create installation media for Windows. That's the one. In my case is Windows 11. I can go to download Windows site here. There we go. And here, instead of using this installation assistant, I use this one, create Windows 11 installation media. Download now. And here, you see this is the tool that I can create a USB drive that I can boot up with Windows, okay? That's usually the last thing that you can try, okay? And sometimes when you just load this app, it takes a while. If you just uh, execute the file and you see like that's nothing happen happens, just wait for 30 seconds and then it's going to load this application here. Then you just accept and it's going to get things ready for uh, the creation of the thumb drive. And you need to use a high capacity hard drive, right? A thumb drive. So here, here have the language. English United States, 11, uh, Windows 11, okay? And uh, if you're creating a different computer, just don't need to check this one. Just make sure that's English and Windows 11 here. Next, and then you're gonna use a USB flash drive. You need to have eight gigabytes at least. Next again, and here you need to refresh the drive list. You see here, no name, that's the one that I have here. I'm not using this one because I don't have the capacity for this one. So let me just come here and remove this one, so it's going to eject, and I can insert a new one like this one with higher capacity. There we go. Then I refresh the list here. Refresh one more time, you see that different now. Okay, the name is, is changed here. Then I just hit next, and it's going to download the Windows 11, and it's going to insert here on this thumb drive, okay? It takes a long time here. Let me just cancel here because I already have, have it, right? So I don't need to wait for it because I already have it here. Let me just double check when I do this process and when it finishes, you see here that I'm gonna have those files here on the thumb drive. Those are the files to install a new Windows, right? Then I just need to come here and restart the computer one more time. There we go. And now I go to the F12 again to boot up for the USB. Let's wait for it to restart. There we go. Now you see that I have this option available that I can boot up for this uh, USB thumb drive, okay? The, the option was not available there before, now the option is here. So I can boot up from this device and then I can install the Windows again, okay? So that's the last option that you're gonna try. And from, from here, you're gonna just follow the steps to install the Windows again, okay? Uh, something else that you can try is just open uh, the device here and check the memory. Okay, you have the RAM memory there. You can just remove the RAM memory. You can clean it up and put the RAM memory back into place. And you can do the same with the SSD drive, right? I have a SSD drive here, or if you have a SATA drive, you can just remove, clean the contacts and put it back into place and see if it works, okay? It's the last solution. It's something that you can even try as the last resource, right? So I hope that helps. Okay, it's a long video, I know, but it are, those are different things that you can try. Please let me know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. If you have a different Dell laptop, if the menu is different, so you can help people here as well with this problem when the Dell laptop is not booting up and it's stuck on the Dell's logo or with the Dell's message, right? So leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next video.